the back wall and you can see where the escape tunnel was. Hello and welcome to ALW Exploration. We're in the woods today and we're looking for a auxiliary unit operational base. These are from the Second World War and they were secret bunkers that were built by the War Ministry. Yeah. I guess it will be able to get in that house. Yes. Agreed. So. Auxiliary units of the Second World War, sometimes known as Churchill's Secret Army, was a sabotage organisation set up in 1940 in case of a Nazi invasion. The auxiliary units were a secret resistance network of highly trained volunteers prepared to be Britain's last-ditch line of defence during World War II. They operated in a network of cells from hidden underground bases around the UK. Their secret underground hideouts known as operational bases and observation posts, and of course the civilian personnel who were prepared to put themselves in the gravest danger. The personnel for the Special Duties Auxiliary Units were carefully selected from the Home Guard and were quite often local farmers, gamekeepers and poachers who knew how to live off the land and had a built experience with knives and firearms. We've got the main entrance over there and these used to have uh, an escape tunnel. You can see there where they are was because these used to have corrugated steel on top and there's the corrugated steel that's partially fell in at the other side of this tree Dave's filming on an additional camera today this would have been the escape tunnel through there down that ditch and out this used to be the main entrance here. You climb down the ladder down there, then you get in there, and that'd be the main bunker area. But this tree looks like it's tried to grow in it, and it's been too, it's got too heavy and it's forced it down and collapsed it. The top rung of the ladder's still present there. Yeah, that's started to fall in as well. This concrete lint has started to push away and collapse. Ah, okay. I think it's been pulled with a tree. So this one's not in the best condition, I'm afraid. But it's worth logging all the same because one day these will just be all all gone, you know. And just in the history books. But saying that, they weren't in many books at all because they were like a secret base, so they weren't marked on maps. But my German friend Marcus at MMP Exploration has said that the the Wehrmacht had detailed maps of where these all were. So if Operation Sea Lion had gone ahead, which was the Germans crossing the North Sea to England and Scotland and Wales, they would have invaded and known where all these bases were. And the idea was that they didn't know whether they were there at all. The communication pipes and ventilation pipes Communication pipes would have been here. Uh, we can't find those, but this area started to subside and collapse. One of the ventilation pipes is visible over here. You see, was a pop type. Oh, where's the where's a vent pipe? Oh, there it is behind Dave. There's one vent, and the other one's over there. I'm going to go in the bunker. The camera won't fit through the entrance because it's on a gimbal, so exploring Dave's going to pass it in to me. That's right folks, here we go. We'll just wait a while. Let me boot around them, I'll pull them out of the way. There's not a on that. No. 
The handle's good to hold on to the... While we're in, so we're inside the operational base of. Although we had permission from the landowner, when we were leaving, he asked us not to reveal the location of this special duties operational base or the woods where it is within. Auxiliary unit. It suffered a partial collapse because of the tree that's grown here and overweighted it and collapsed it. But other than that, it's pretty solid. It's above us here, it's only a couple of inches of mud. Uh, but that used to go to the escape hatch, correction, the escape tunnel. And uh, I'll just put my torch away. Yeah, here we are. So what do you think? It's a bit muddy, it could do with a bit of a tarn it, tidy out, but I think this is a doer upper. It's rebuildable, but otherwise it's not in bad condition. It's been stripped bare unfortunately, probably after the war. The escape tunnel used to be down there, that's also collapsed. Now the T section in the wall there, that was obviously yeah, that was for a lintel, but they used to put a bookcase against it. To disguise it and the bookcase slotted, in, slotted into that T. That's why the lintel's missing because it was like a two factor thing, and then after the war it was probably pulled out and used as firewood. But you can still see the brickwork along the edges, and I believe those concrete slabs there were used to cover the entrance up. You know what this reminds me of? No. Silence of the Lambs. It puts the lotion in the basket. Alright, I can't, I can't picture the scene. Yeah, Silence of the Lambs. So it looks like it continues that way. It looks down. Does it continue that way? Or is something's been there, something's collapsed on it? Yeah. Because it's got the uh, it's got the T-shaped lintel again where the bookcase was. So is there another chamber back that way? I think there is. That's also collapsed. Check that out. It's a bit muddy. Uh, please subscribe. Yeah, this definitely was the escape tunnel. You can see how it's all collapsed in, and it went down into this little ravine. We can call it. You know, just a, a stream in the woods, but uh, that would have given them perfect cover, not cover, perfect cover to, you know, escape. Um, brilliant. Certainly. Good location. Certainly. It's been a good one, this one. It has. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. And if I've enjoyed it, I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. There's more on my website alwexploration.co.uk check that out and check out my friends at the Coalsill Auxiliary Research Team uh, and their website is called staybehinds.com Thank you so much for watching this shorter than usual video we hope you enjoyed it we will be back with new content every Tuesday and Thursday at 8pm UK time bye bye Looking over my shoulder Looking back at your door